Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my Scentsy empties that I've gotten through over the past couple of months. Um, I'm going to do two separate videos. I'm going to do one with the Scentsy bars that are currently available. And then I'll do a second video of empties of the ones that are no longer available um, that I pulled out that I'm trying to get through. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm still available and I will post my... Um, my website if you're interested you can go ahead and order i am in no way here to sell these i just want to go through my thoughts and what's available for you so if you're interested and you want to try them my website will be linked below but don't feel like that is what i'm here to do is sell you on these so the first one is watermelon tangerine i bought these in bulk when they first came out because i wasn't sure if they were going to bring them back, it happens quite often with Scentsy. They'll come out with some new summer scents and then you don't see them again. So I bought, the, bought these in bulk. I did not buy new ones this year, um, but this is a watermelon tangerine. It's sweet watermelon slices spiked with juicy tangerine and dewy greens. It is a pretty um, tangerine watermelon combination color, I'd say. It was getting a little bit juicy there. It is a couple years old, but the scent was still good. It is a pretty light throw, so um, I use these in, I think, four of my warmers all around the house all at one time so that I could get that nice throw from that scent. I would recommend this one if you like just a light summer scent. That would be a go-to. The next one I got, too, was Hibiscus Pineapple. That is here. It is hibiscus, pineapple, and a touch of sweet mandarin. Tell an enchanting tropical tale. It's a pretty pink color. And the wax was a light pink color as well. This was not one of my favorites. Um, it was a little bit too floral for me. I did get through quite a bit of pineapple scents. Um, but this one had a little bit too much of the floral for my liking, so... Uh, that one is available. The next one I got through is Aloha Citrus. This one has been around for a while. Um, it's a fresh tide of tangerine, jade blossom, and vetiver. Again, a pretty wax color. I've had this one for a while. Um, it was a little bit... Uh, the oils were starting to kind of come through. You can tell that this is an older container because it doesn't have those embossed um, pictures on the bottom like they do on the newer containers. So um, Aloha Citrus. It might be the Jade Blossom that I don't really like. I do like Vetiver on, a, on its own, but I think mixed with these two scents, I was not a fan. So it would not be a repurchase for me but it is available online at the moment. So if that is something you are interested in, it is a light throw as well. The next one, which is one of my favorites, is Apricot Vanilla. This one is fantastic. If you are a uh, peach lover, an apricot lover, this is a perfect, perfect scent um, in that category. See, it is heirloom peach, apricot, and vanilla ice cream. So yes, yes, and yes. You get all of those scents. It was a light peach color, just like the label. Pretty and um, pretty good long-lasting scent, I'd say, and a decent throw as well. Pina Colada Cha-Cha. It is a... Uh, tried and true, loved favorite of many, many people. Um, I think it went away for a little bit and then they brought it back. It is Island Coconut and Zesty Pineapple lead while white rum and vanilla bean follow. It is a true pina colada scent. It is yummy. It's a light white creamy wax like coconut color. Um, just a fantastic summer scent. Another one I would recommend, which is, this is an old Bring Back My Bar, but it is back. Um, I would recommend this one if you do like cherry and vanilla. It's a delightful swirl of candied cherry and sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. I had no idea that it had a white chocolate ice cream scent to it. As you can see, it was getting a little bit 
discolored in here as sometimes it does with um, vanilla scents can get discolored at times. This is an old one from the last time it came back. One of my favorite smells. Um, they just do a really good cherry scent. So if you like that, I'd recommend it. Bonfire Beach. This one is kind of like um, toasted, like a toasted marshmallow or um, Fireside, Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works. So it's a good complement if you've got that candle going. This would be a good one to have in your warmers. Nice, clean wax. Um, I love the color of the label. It's just that pretty teal color. Toasted Marshmallow Smoldering Over White Flint and Sandalwood Harmonize with Salty Air and Ocean Spray. It is a beautiful summer scent. Um, I would recommend that one as well. Mocha Doodle. This one's been around for a long time. Uh, I think it may have gone away for a little bit. I always thought maybe it should be in with fall scents, but it is available right now. It's just a pretty brown wax color. It was like a light brown. Started to kind of discolor. It could be the vanilla that was in there. Um... Delicious roasted coffee beans and cocoa, balanced by sugar, caramel, and heavy cream. This is a really nice one to complement like a praline scented candle or caramel, salted caramel, um, Paris Cafe from Bath & Body Works. It's just a great complimentary scent to have going throughout the house as well. The next one is My Wish. This was a Bring Back My Bar um a while back i don't know how long ago that one was probably i'd say maybe two years um it's a in his back for bring back my bar right now so it's a confection of earthy fig sweet violet and playful marshmallow pretty purple it was like a light purple wax um not my favorite very very light scent it would be good in maybe a small bedroom or a bathroom but definitely not for an open concept. Not my favorite. I don't think I would order it again, but it is available if you are into those fig scents. Got through a hundred acre wood. This is um, the only Disney one I got through that's still available. In my next video, you'll see others um, that are no, no longer available, but I can give you a, a quick review in case you've got them in your stash or if they come back uh, for a limited time release, it may be something you're interested in, or if you just kind of want to hear different scent notes, that's cool too. So this is came out with the Winnie the Pooh collection. It was a light um, lavender, very, very, very light purple, even lighter than this uh, on the label. It's a very light scent, but it is a nice scent. Definitely pretty for a bathroom, laundry room, bedroom. It's a, uh, this, the notes on it say, grab your favorite hand and wander through a, f a friendly forest swirling with cotton blossoms, wild jasmine, and sweet, cozy vanilla. You definitely get that cotton blossom and vanilla, very, very light jasmine. Um, it's just a nice, pleasant scent. I could see them doing something like, like laundry or something in this. It's really just a nice smell. So this one I like. And then I got through two of the Plum and White Woods. This is a gorgeous scent. And it is, it was a old Bring Back My Bar, but it is there now as well. Um, I think I warmed this maybe in February or March, maybe. Um, it is Sweet Raspberry Preserves and Damson Plum Weave Through Vanilla Orchid. It is just a beautiful scent. Um, I had it throughout my whole house, but it would be a beautiful bedroom scent. Um, I would recommend this one. I will buy it again. I think I'll probably get a couple more before the end of this round of Bring Back My Bar. It's, it's a great scent. And then my all-time favorite, which is back right now as well, Fuzzy Blanket. Um, it is definitely like a fuzzy blanket coming out of the laundry. It says, snuggle up to the soft scent of lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. This is my all-time favorite scent besides Luna, and this only comes back every couple of years. It always gets voted back just because it is just an amazing, cozy scent. Um, I You could use this all year round. 
it's a little bit, maybe a little bit too heavy for summer, but all the rest of the seasons for sure. So that is the last of the scents that I got through that are currently available. And then in my next video, I will go over all the others that I got through that are no longer available. So thank you for uh, watching. And I know it's been a while since I've been on here and uh, I, I appreciate you returning. And if you are new, just click subscribe and you'll catch videos when I get around to getting to my empties or anything new. Thank you again and have a great day.